Well, uh, the biggest thing that uh, that we've all learned is you always have to have your A game on because you never know who you're, who you're going to meet or uh, who you're with at certain times. Like, people just come up, and you never know who that person could be or who they know or what connections they have. So it's always important that you always have your A game on, you're always ready, you're always prepared. And you always also, something that we've all learned is you got to rehearse, like, what you do on stage. If We rehearse all the time, and uh, how we rehearse is how we perform. So if we have a good rehearsal, we know we're going to go and have a good show. So we always work our hardest, and we always try our best, and it pays off. Mm-hmm. Now, how long normally do you guys rehearse? Um, this is David. Um, during the week, we usually practice for three or four hours, but um, during the weekend on Saturday, um, we usually practice for about six hours. Mm-hmm. So is it like nonstop or you guys get water breaks in between? <laughs> um, we definitely get some water breaks because um, it is it gets hot in there. Mm-hmm. So but, um, mm-hmm. I was going to say, so pretty much you guys got like the whole new edition, if it isn't love, rehearsal routine down pat, like with the sweat and the constant moving and rehearsing and making sure the dance steps are crisp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anybody can take this question. What are you guys looking to do, you know, within the next five to ten years when the Heartbeat Boys is out and about? Well, I think we will probably still be performing and still selling albums and people still listening to our music and still be going global. Hopefully that, that I think that will occur. Mm. And who's enjoying the reactions of the girls the most out of the five of you guys? Be honest. Noel, Noel, Mr. Ladies Man. Yes, I guess I'm the ladies man. Yeah. Mm, so speak. Mm, so speaking of being the ladies man, I know you guys probably got something special for all the Valentine girls, new kids pun out there. So go ahead and um tell the ladies out there what you're looking for in a nice young lady, and start with Noel and work the way on down with everybody. Well. <laughs> What I'm looking for in a nice young lady is a good personality, likes to have fun, and just fun to hang out with. Um, mostly the same thing as Noel. Um, just same thing. I mean, same thing. Um, this is Cody, and I'm looking for a girl who has a good personality and is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, this is Ryan, and I'm definitely looking for a girl that has likes to have fun, because, you know, uh, <laughs> likes to have a good time and is pretty. <laughs> this is Anthony, and pretty much everything else everyone has said, and I definitely need someone that is like me so that we can have a good time and just someone that treats me well and I treat her well and... Yeah. <laughs> All good reasons and Cody looks don't hurt. Personality do matter, but looks definitely a plus. I'm proud of you for that. Now, by you guys being around Maurice, I'm sure you guys have listened to a lot of work done by New Edition and New Kids, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm, so if you guys could have a choice of picking any New Kids and New Edition song to redo, one of each. What would it be and why and anybody could answer this question? Um, I think my choice is uh, my favorite girl by New Kids. Um, I think mine would be Please Don't Go Girl by um the New Kids on Block. It's just um that's actually the first song I ever heard from New Kids and it's it's just like the best New Kids song I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. Um, this is Cody, and I think Valentine Girl by the New Kids on the Block, um, because I love how Jordan pronounces the wor- words, and um, I just love that song. This is Ryan, and uh, by New Kids on the Block, I definitely like to redo Step by Step, because I think that's a great song. It's lots of fun, and, you know, it's probably one of my favorites. For This is Anthony, and for New Edition, I'd probably do Candy Girl. Okay. That's definitely what's up right there. You guys know your history, know the roots, the two groups that paved the way for you guys. And 
as far as you, you know the music industry, you know with teen idols, you know about four or five years. So how do you guys look to grow from being teens and grow as young adults and do like what New Edition did? We're able to grow in, grow up in the industry from kids and to be grown men and still have longevity and loyal fans? Um, I think that we're going to grow up just becoming more and more great because just we're going to be rehearsing, we're going to have more shows, and when we get big and everything, we're just going to keep working as hard as we are now and even harder, and we're going to improve a lot, 100%. Mm -hmm. Now, who has the most craziest thing ever happened to them at a show that a fan has done? Like, has a fan done anything crazy? Do, do one of you guys want to share your crazy fan story? <laughs> 